Welcome to Bat Yard. This is um, a, a film review we're doing today. That's right. Um, I think we're called Cinematic Invasion. Cinematic Invasion, yeah. that's right. Connor <laughs> Josh's Cinematic Invasion. So we're brought to here. Nailed it. We're uh, brought to you by the letter B and for beans. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Brought to you by beans. And I'll tell you something else. I'm not the kind of man you spill your beans to. Why would you spill your beans? Well, because, Josh, we're about to spill the beans about the lighthouse. Oh, dun dun dun! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! That'll be What's funny when like? you watch the movie. <laughs> Girl, Connor, um, I, I've seen the lighthouse two times now. You've seen it twice. Um, so I got a little more context out of it, out mm. of the viewing. Yeah. Well, what's, what's the director's name? Eggers? Robert Eggers, who is a favorite of mine because he also made The Witch, a New England fairy tale. It's a fantastic horror. Oh, movie. it's a New England? Yes. Well, that's that's the sub the subtitle, anyway. Uh, it's The Witch, uh, comma, a New England fairy tale. Because it's based on an old uh, early settler fairy tale. We're in uh, New England, just Massachusetts somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure it says in the actual uh, filmography or you know notes. But I just I just know it as a New England. I don't think they outright mention where they are in the movie at any point. This was like my introduction to Robert Eggers' mm. filmography. Mm -hmm. This is the first movie I've seen. It made me interested in the uh, Vavitch or. Um, <laughs> I do want to see it. It's it's on Netflix right now, so I'll probably get to it on uh, my break. So, yeah. Um, so Connor, what um, what? So comparatively, since you have more context with uh, like his filmography, like how do you kind of you know rate these two? Oh, this ba this screamed Robert Eager Eggers right away uh, when I started watching it. Um, how would I rate them? Uh, the Witch is a really compelling story with a lot of like really dark and disturbing uh, symbolism and uh, you see a lot of the same thing in The Lighthouse. It's it's not a movie that uh, jumps out from the shadows and scares you. There's a lot of built tension, a lot of discomfort that all kind of builds to a central climax, oh. you know, uh, 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 an apex of fear uh, with, with this movie. It's uh, marketed as a psychological horror. And, and it, I mean, it's basically, it's basically like a thriller. I wouldn't yeah. say it's like a really a horror film. It's like more it's like horrifying. Like, yeah, yeah, it's it's. I, I feel like it's more character driven for oh, sure. Oh, it's absolutely. It's like a, you know, like a character study almost. Mm -hmm. and it's like it almost played like a like a like a theater production. You know, they're only in like one set location. Yeah, yeah. That, like they don't really move around too much. You know, the whole movie's basically just two guys. Yeah, it's just two guys interacting with each other with uh, Robert Pattinson and William Defoe, which uh, I think they both at least deserve Oscar nominations. Fantastic I, I would say at energy, least, um, uh, well acted. Yeah, at least uh, William Defoe, he was fantastic. Oh yeah, oh, and yeah. I liked uh, I liked how at the end of the movie where uh, Robert Pattinson said he's basically like a, like a parody of of yeah, like, yeah. A, like a like I'm a, sick of your Captain Pattinson. Ahab bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> he's a parody of Captain Ahab and. Uh, uh, I mean, like, it was. I, which plays a lot into the theme, which we're going to get into later. Yeah, I, no, it, it definitely did, and uh, it's definitely like it's kind of like you're, you're kind of following more Robert Pattinson's character throughout mm. the film, and like you're kind of learning more about his character and William Dafoe's character as uh, the film goes on. What Robert Pattinson plays, um, they're they're both lighthouse keepers. They go to this like secluded island. You know, to take care of the lighthouse, and they're only supposed to be there for about five weeks. And then, uh, for some reason, uh, the ship that's supposed to pick them up does not arrive. Because, there's a storm. Yeah, there's a very bad storm. There's, there's a really uh, hectic storm going on. Impossible game. So, uh, with what well, with the characters themselves, you kind of lost throughout. Like, you don't really know the the timetable of everything. Mm, you, yeah. You don't really know the sense. Like, they could have been there for. Six weeks, five days. You know, they there's a lot say, of Im there's a lot of uh, implied time there. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't uh, take you along. You're you're sort of left to kind of piece together, you know, how much time passes scene to scene by yourself. Right. Which That's is a great device. It it adds to the the tension and the the growing themes of insanity. No, it really does. Uh, I, and like, I I felt like this movie was like basically like uh, the themes were like temptation like Robert Pattinson ca character is like tempted to uh 
you know, be be a good lighthouse keeper. He's tempted by, by the light. He wants to see the lighthouse. You know, he's tempted by his sexuality because, you know, he's on a secluded island, so he has to get off somehow. The vices of drinking. Yeah, the vices of drinking, you know, temptation of having a steak, you know. Um, it's. It, I think that's, like, the, the main theme. And really then the, 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 the temptation of, of even, like... Uh, Flashing out and getting his anger out there uh, against William Defoe's character, and he finally unleashes his wrath. Um, slow build up, but it's it's a beautifully paced and uh, the aspect ratio. You know, I I didn't like it. Kind of just when I first viewed it, it distracted me a little bit. I was like, oh okay, I gotta get used to it. But like once the story started and played out. I was just sucked into the center yeah. of the screen. I didn't even notice it with like after like the first like. Nine, I didn't. Nine I didn't minutes. even men- notice it until you mentioned. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You didn't notice that no. at all. No. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. It was. It was. It, it was definitely like it just grabs you, and mm-hmm. I felt like every frame of the movie could be like freeze framed and like made into a portrait. You could put yeah. it on your wall. Like every every scene looked. Every frame looked beautiful. Like oh, beautifully yeah. shot yeah. and everything. Uh, Robert Eggers. Is Robert his? Eggers. Yeah, I, he's he definitely knows his cinematography. He, he did his homework, and I mm. guess this um, this film has some historical context, like it's based on a like a, yep, kind based of on a true a, story. actual event. Yeah. I think there's three lighthouse keepers. There's I'm not exactly sure where it was located. A lot of liberties were taken from the oh, yeah, actual. Oh yeah, definitely account. for sure. It's not like they have the same names. It's not the same story. But uh, apparently, when they came back to eventually pick them up because of this huge storm, like uh, like in the film, yeah, way they, schedule, yeah. they had no idea where the. They couldn't even find the bodies, and it didn't look like anything was like upturned. Even in the lighthouse, it looked like everything was kept kept pretty well Spooky. um yeah so we'll put like a link in the description of like the story if you want to get know more about it because i certainly do it's pretty uh it's pretty interesting and um i know <coughs> this movie is basically up for interpretation so you know if you want more like every answer you know pointed out to you this is not really the movie for you you know if you like it's a movie that warrants a second watch though yeah and i definitely got more out of it the second watch you know mm. um I, I thought it was funnier than like <laughs> yeah. than it you know could could have been. I thought it was yeah yeah a lot of the humor there's there's uh, there's a little little sprinkle of humor in there keep you going through. Yeah, I thought it was funnier the second time yeah. actually. Yeah, you know, because like I knew what to expect. I want to see more of your thoughts. Like, what do you think on on your first kind of? I mean, it's been a, a little bit since we yeah, since uh, we last a couple saw of days. It. Yeah, but I, I I know like you have more of a fresher take on it. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it like uh, initially walking out of the theater, you know, my head was just a jumble of questions. Once uh, once the movie was done, mm-hmm. I kept like thinking of like what am I supposed to have learned from this? What did all the symbolism mean? You know, could have gone in any sort of direction. And it wasn't until we started discussing it that I started to think again about what I had seen. And how it all tied together, and what it was, you know, trying to tell me. And it's 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 a movie that I like. It yeah, I could see how you benefited more from a second yeah, watch because sure. we started talking about it, and that's what I got more and more excited about the movie. <laughs> like as we started to piece it together on our own, you know, it's it's the first time I've ever been excited about my homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, that's why I wanted to see it again. Yeah. I was like, oh, Connor, we got to see this movie. You know, it, it's it, I. I you know, I loved it the, the first time I saw it, but I major think major departure from the norm. In yeah, the cinema. something new. Exactly. That's that's why you know I was so highly anticipating this movie because it seems so different. You know, as shot in black and white, the aspect ratio is not like widescreen. You know, and it just seemed, I don't know. It just obviously it seemed like more old timely. You know, it's like based in yeah. the, like late eighteenth century, early nineteenth mm-hmm. century. Yeah. I think that's uh, the time of the setting. And like <coughs> uh, with William Defoe's portrayal like his dialogue and everything like i some of the stuff you can't really understand what he's saying. yeah this, uh, <laughs> subtitles you yeah you would definitely benefit watching this on a home screen with subtitles but definitely if you get a chance to see it on uh, the big screen for sure and i uh i understand there was a short film on our screening that yeah was that might have been just a theater exclusive because yeah it's funny you got up to use the bathroom or something yeah. while that was going on and I was looking at this like, oh, okay, this is weird, but I'm sure Josh will let me know what it is. You came back, sat down, and me, and he said, what the hell is this? And I was like, well, no answer's there. I was very... Yeah, we saw there was a short film attached to it uh, called The Fall. Right. It was quite good. Yeah, it was interesting. It was uh, another A24. Yeah, um, yeah. 
like short production it's not and like this. I it was like these people with masks and they like drop one of their I don't know yeah I don't know they were sh throwing a guy down a shaft uh, with a giant noose I don't know it, it's weird I was very confused yeah uh, it was it was you know I hope they got an A on their films project yeah, anyway I think so but uh, it's funny you mentioned the black and white thing I usually don't go for gimmicks like this I usually skip that sort of thing oh, when they right, try to like right. facilitate nostalgia right. or something that's kind of how I felt about the artists yeah I exactly I, I skipped the artist because yeah. I didn't even want to go for that but uh, I gotta tell you, there's I didn't realize like yeah, the black and white lended itself very well to like the style of filmmaking oh, they were yeah, doing here. Yeah, sure. because when you simplify the your, your your light spectrum in that way, there's a lot you can get away with. Like uh, we were talking about before, when he he's one of his responsibilities as Wiki of the Lighthouse is to uh, empty the chamber pots. But you know, oh, in black oh, and white, yeah. the chamber pots it's just dark liquid yeah, it could be any, with whatever it could be a, chunks. chocolate liquid. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it didn't they didn't have to go too crazy in props. They could probably get away with that right. you know, fairly easily. Splash it in Robert Pattinson's face. I mean, it definitely seemed like they, they lit the movie like in the intention for it being black mm -hmm. and white. Yeah. Like, you could see like uh, just like all the different like hues and everything were like definitely brought out more with uh, with the lighting and how Visually they did they did a lot with it. They did a lot with it and I appreciate it. Like another example is all the binge drinking they did. It just clear, clear bottles of what's probably vodka, yeah. you know, or maybe gin. You're not getting a good look at it. You know, we don't know what that liquid is. It's whatever. They slowly descend into madness, especially mm -hmm. Robert Pattinson's character. Or, I mean, they both do, but I would say, you know, Robert Pattinson goes even a little more. Yeah, yeah, that's fair to say. I uh, I wanted to ask you. Oh, what were you, you going to say? No, I was just going to say Robert Pattinson definitely racks up more points on the crazy scale. Yeah. Around I, the end of the movie. After I saw this, I was like, I can totally see him as Batman. I mean, those are two totally different roles, but, mm. like, I, I knew he was a good actor. Oh, was yeah. The first, um, I had, a, yeah. Was actually, you know, I, I got to see him firsthand. The first time I realized Robert Pattinson wasn't a joke as an actor was when I saw him in uh, Vincent Lawrence, or Lawrence Vincent's I'm sorry, I'm screwed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the film adaptation of Water for Elephants, he kills it in that movie. And then later I hear the Batman casting, and I'm like, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. And yeah. I just, this was just more fodder to stoke the fire with. And just, yeah, reaffirms Robert Pattinson. Hey, he's a good actor. Yeah, he's a he good agreed, actor. You know? And apparently, um, uh, William Dafoe, he wore, uh, like, dentures on top of his, like, like real teeth, uh, and I didn't even realize that there yeah, were. Yeah, no. You know? Again, the lighting. It, yeah, exactly. Itself. And like, uh, you know, I, you could see they're like a little more mangled than a Hollywood actor's mm -hmm. teeth would be. You know, pearly whites. Oh yeah, thing. oh yeah. Like a, a, a true sea salt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, teeth I don't, of a sailor. I don't really know if we should really get into spoilers. I mean, it's no, like, we don't have. I to. mean, it's, it's totally up to you. I don't, I don't really know if there's. We'll talk a little bit about the story. I didn't have. I didn't want to talk about anything that gave too much away. Yeah, yeah well, I just wanted, like, like symbolism, the deft camera work. I thought that was really cool too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There were a lot of shots in the movie that move. There wasn't. Uh, what am I trying to say here? There are a lot of shots in the movie that were continuously uh, connected to each other. Not like certain sequences that would go for a long time without a jump cut. Oh, it's just one like, singular yeah. shot. Like the initial shot when they're checking out the lighthouse yeah. later on in the movie after the big storm blows in the windows. And there was a lot of similar motions, like shot to shot from, you know, between those two scenes. Yeah. No, out of all the films that uh, out of this year, at least in recent memory, this is like the one I was most excited for. It was beautifully shot, you know, like all the movements and intricacies, you know, like the, Robert Eggers definitely knows how to make a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I give this an A plus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah man. I, I don't even know. I don't really want to rate it on a number scale. I just think, it, I think you should go and watch it. Don't like think it's like going to be the greatest movie you've ever no. seen or anything like that. It's definitely, you know, high class filmmaking, and uh, you know, I. I Look forward to what what comes next out of uh, his catalog. Nine seabirds out of ten. You, you know, yeah, that's a that's a fair that's a fair rating. I feel like uh, the more I see it, the more I'm gonna like it. And, mm. and I I think I might go see it a second time. Yeah, definitely. I might see it definitely. A I, I, I'm definitely gonna like I'm gonna purchase this on um, the nice. at some point because it's just like I was like yeah I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I need this movie. Yeah, I was inspired. Uh, I was inspired to, to paint like one of the little uh, little magnets that, oh, I, that cool. I made. So. Ooh. I'll put it here. Check it out <laughs> <the> next con. <laughs> yeah, the next next Connor con we're going to 
<laughs> no one would go to Comic Con. I would go. It sounds pretty fun. Nah. You know, you get a yeah. I, everyone would dress up as you. <laughs> it's my nightmare. <laughs> oh no. All right. Well, um, yeah, that was a backyard review. Definitely check out the lighthouse and uh, let us know down in the comments below what you think. And uh, you know, definitely, uh, yeah, definitely uh, give it a watch. All right, the lighthouse, guys. Oh my gosh! Why did you spit? Ah! <laughs> it's all the know her they brought up in Calio. Rob me, other girls, do not let me go. <laughs> I fucked up the floor a little bit. Oops. Oh, oh no. It's okay. That was worth it for it the joke. It was. It was worth it for the joke. Should we film the floor now? <laughs> <laughs> now then everyone's going to see him wearing hospital socks. Oh. They're comfy. Just in case this doesn't get lost in the edit. Yeah. Uh, 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 you have the hospital where you can't shoot. <laughs> In case you pull another one of those cutesy con things, that'll get lost in the edit. It's better.